Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. I'm here today with two different studio monitors. I've got a pair of Yamaha MSP5s and a pair of PreSonus Eris E5s. Now, both of these seem to make a lot of top 10 lists for studio monitors worldwide, and there's a reason for that. They both sound really good. They're perfect for mixing. Now, there's a difference in price between these two. The Yamahas go for $250 to $299 US each. The PreSonus goes for about $149 each. So they're about half the price. As far as inputs on the back, the RSC5 support the XLR and quarter inch and RCA inputs, whereas the Yamaha supports XLR and quarter inch only. Now there's switches and pots on the back. As far as the E5s go, you got a low cut switch and you've got mid and high pots. And as far as the Yamahas go, all you have is basically uh, low and high cut or boost each one of those. And one thing that's really nice is the Personas has these diagrams on the back. So you don't have to crack open a manual or anything like that. You just look at the back diagrams and you can figure out a whole bunch of stuff, including what they're calling acoustic space. So you've got a switch for that as well and a diagram to show you where you are. You know, if you're going to be near a wall or if you're going to be away from a wall or whatever, you've got a switch to accommodate where you're setting that. With the Yamahas, you don't have that. Now, there's a big difference in weight between these two. The Ares weigh about 10 pounds or so, and the Yamahas weigh a whopping 17 pounds. It's a big difference, but it has a tremendous size heat sink on the back. Both have base ports. With the Yamaha, you've got two rounded base ports in the front, and with the Ares, you've got a kind of a slot style base port. They each do their job. Now, what I particularly like about the Yamaha over the Ares is the volume control is in the front, not in the back. So, with all this being said, let's start out with a piano, and we're going to start out with the Persona. and switch over to the Yamaha. Now they both sound good piano-wise in that respect. Let's go to a different kind of piano. This is a Kawai SK-5 grand piano. And let's do the same thing with the Yamahas. Now, it seems a little bit more tinny with the Yamahas and a little more rich with the Personas. So, let's try a couple of other things and see if we feel the same way. So, let's go over to an organ. Here's a church organ. Try the same thing with the Yamahas. Boy, that's pretty close. Now, I want to point out that the Yamaha MSP-5 is a bi-amplified version of the old studio standard, the Yamaha NS-10. These were found in recording studios worldwide, and there was a reason for that. While they may not have sounded great in the studio, if you were mixing something and you could make it sound good on the NS-10s, 
which these MSP5s are the biamplified equivalent of, then it would sound pretty good on everything. That was the whole philosophy of the NS10s in the recording studios. And the same thing with the MSP5s. While they may not sound that great in the studio, you can make it sound good. And if it sounds good with those, it will sound good everywhere. And that is the entire purpose of studio monitors. Make it sound good on the studio monitors and it's gonna sound good everywhere. In your car, on your home stereo, or any place else, okay? So let's try a couple of other sounds over here. Here is a harpsichord and this is the personas. And here's the Yamaha. Here's the Personas with some strings. And here's the Yamaha. Here's some bass with the personas. And the Yamaha. Now let's try one more thing. We are going to go to the rhythm section here. Here is a funk shuffle. We're going to hear it first on the personas. Now on the Yamahas. Okay, so it seems like the Personas has a richer mid range and the Yamahas have kind of more like a tinny sounding mid-range and in a studio typically it's a recording studio and you want to make whatever you recorded sound good everywhere it's fun comparing these two but it all boils down to what's going to produce a better mix for you either one of these are going to do great the Yamaha is at twice the price and they've been around forever and being a basically a bi version of the NS10s, they've proven themselves. But Presonus has also been around for a while, and in the shorter amount of time that they've been around, they've also proven themselves. Hope this has helped you out. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.